Hello, Hello. and welcome, welcome to a very yes. spooky video. It's not a spooky video. There's nothing spooky about this video apart from the fact that it's the end of October and I was just trying to be spooky. But yeah, it's the end of October and I thought I'd just throw together a little quick video um, of all the little things that I've been enjoying this month. Um, it's a mixture of things really. I don't think there's many. I think there's about four or five. If I come up with anything else during the video, I'll let you know. So my first favourite um, feels like a while ago now, but it was completed this month. I finished another book an audiobook that I was listening to whilst going for my runs and driving around in the car. Um, so this one is called Watching You, which is a novel by Lisa Jewell. Um, I'll just read a little bit about, oh, because I'm not very good at describing. Come on, some sort of summary. <laughs> I just need a sum summary thing. No, I've bought I've just typed into Google, watching you book symptoms. I think that's symptoms of a book. That's not what I meant. It's a book that was recommended from a friend, again, because I'm useless at discovering things like books for myself because I just don't know where to start. So somebody recommended this one to me and it was a very, very good. Um, once I get hold of this, I probably should have prepared this a little bit more, shouldn't I? Okay, I'll read you a little bit of this. Merrillville Heights is one of the nicest neighbourhoods in Bristol, England, home to doctors and lawyers and old money academics. It's not the sort of place where people are brutally murdered in their own kitchens, but it is the sort of place where everyone has a secret and everyone is watching you. So basically, yeah, it's set on mainly on this street in Bristol. Don't know if the street actually exists, but anyway. It's set on this street in Bristol um, and it kind of tells the stories about each individual lives on the street and how they're all connected and just like all the secrets that they have um and the plot kind of un unfolds but it is like a murder mystery thing like who's done it it kind of tells you that like straight away because it kind of yeah it mentions like the murder scene straight away and then the whole time you're like trying to figure out who is it who did it why on earth were they murdered what's happened and then yeah the plot just like all opens up as it goes along it's so good um had me literally guessing the whole time as the head teacher credited with turning around a local school tom fitzwilliam is beloved by one and all including joey mullen his new neighbor who quickly develops an ins ins Intense infatuation with this thoroughly charming yet unavailable man. Joey thinks her crush is a secret, but Tom's teenage son, Freddy, a prodigy with aspirations of becoming a spy for um, I-5, excels in... Oops, I almost said I'm 15. Um, excels in observing people and has witnessed Joey behaving strangely around his father. I don't really want to... But mind you, this is all the stuff that's on the back, isn't it? Um... Yeah, I'll probably stop there. I mean, you get the gist, I'm sure. But definitely, yeah, if you like that kind of, like, mystery book. But I don't know, it was just an easy listen as well. And they had all, like, the Bristol accents and it was just really, like, nice to listen to. It's like the last book I listened to was, um, like, Scottish accents. And it's just, I just liked it. Yeah, I just like kind of listening to those kind of books. But hopefully I'll find another book. I have one credit to spend on my Audible account and I just literally don't know where to start at the moment. Um... But I'll probably just go through the list of books that my friend recommended and choose one of them. But I just haven't got around to it yet. I think I'm just like getting over that book first and then I will dive into another one. So that is my number one favourite of the month. As I say, I finished that a couple of weeks ago, so it seems like it's um, been a while now. But yeah, it was this month. <laughs> I assure you, in case you're going to like sue me if I give you the favourite from the wrong month. Um, okay, next up is something that I recently purchased, um, only like last week I think. It's a sandwich box. I know that sounds absolutely ridiculous that this is one of my favourites, but I'll slot in a little picture of me using the sandwich box to show you how useful it actually is. But I will show you all the little compartments. I only got it for about four or five pounds from Asda the other day. And it's basically to encourage me to make my own lunch more often and eat it and not spend money in the shops when I'm on work and hungry. Because if I just take myself a sandwich and it's rolling around in my bag, um, it gets squashed and it gets like, I don't know, I end up eating that and then, then I'm still hungry so I buy some nibbles from the shop, chocolates and stuff. So if I, it's trying to encourage me to eat more fruit basically. So I've kind of been putting um, like apples and 
um, tangerines and grapes in these little compartments here. And then, like magic, this little bit here is where I put my sandwich. <laughs> it keeps it nice and neat in there. I don't know, it sounds a little bit sad. I got very excited when I came home and showed Jim this sandwich box. But seriously, like it's encouraging me to make my lunch the night before and just go a little bit more prepared to work because I'm just a hungry person and I like to have lots of nibbles with me and I forget about fruit sometimes so that kind of encourages me to eat fruit because when you've got fruit rolling around in your bag it just kind of yeah it gets bruised and things so it's just not very good whereas this yep this is brilliant this make is called sis systema systema something like that I don't really know um but yeah it's really good and I got a little matching um drinks bottle as well that's just handy I can't can never have enough drinks bottles another one of my favorites this month has been this hot water bottle right here now I already owned a hot water bottle but I just owned the hot water bottle without um a cover on it so it's not very comfortable like cuddling up to just like hot rubber <laughs> that sounds so strange but it's very comfortable rub rubbing up it's very comfortable cuddling up to a very soft, soft, grey, warm, hot water bottle. So yeah, I picked this up from Asda. It was the same time I bought the lunchbox, actually. Picked this up from Asda and I've literally been making it, making a hot water bottle for bed every single night and putting it in my bed before I get into bed um, to make it warm so that it's ready for when I get in. I remember that my dad used to make me a hot water bottle, bottle when I was younger and he used to put it in my bed and he used to put it like at the top section near my pillow and then like half an hour later he'd move it down to the bottom for me and it would like get it all nice and warm before I went to bed. So I'm basically doing that for myself <laughs> just to keep me warm in the winter. Really really cannot cope with this weather change because we had such a nice summer. It's really like seems worse than ever for me to get used to the cold this time I don't know I'm just finding it a bit of a nightmare suddenly getting cold and just trying to get used to it so I'm not really prepared for winter but I am prepared for winter a little bit because I do have a hot water bottle um so yeah this is still slightly warm from last night like very 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 slightly and it's like one o'clock in the afternoon um yeah it's very very slightly so yeah it keeps its warmth more as well obviously when it's kind of insulated with a nice furry cover. Anyway, that's my hot water bottle talk. The last thing on my list of favourite things this month has been the Bake Off. I have never, never watched the Bake Off before, but I thought, me and my, my friend who mentioned it to me, and I'd kind of been thinking about starting it as well this year, I don't know why, she said, oh, I'm thinking about watching the Bake Off. And I was like, hmm, I was actually thinking about that too. So we decided to watch it. Um, and asked Jim as well do you want to do you want to give it a go I'm not sure whether you want to we literally gave it a go and we absolutely love it um it's just a really we like these kind of shows that are, we don't watch the x factor and other kind of reality shows like that but we do watch um we like the apprentice and we like the bake-off well we like the bake-off now we like hell's kitchen things like that shows like that um so yeah this one's a bit similar to that really it's just it's got a really nice vibe to it and all of the presenters make me laugh like so much um and the contestants are just all so lovely and all like really really friendly i don't know obviously who knows what they're actually like in real life but as contestants and what's shown in the edit is that they all really like get on and support each other and it just feels like they're dead, dead passionate about what they do and you literally like don't want anyone to go <laughs> each each week you're just like please don't send anyone home it's gotten to that point where i like everybody and it's very very difficult um to watch them home but it's oh, so entertaining to watch it does make me want to bake but i haven't started baking yet maybe maybe i'll make some christmas cakes when christmas comes around i didn't bother making any halloween cakes i'm kind of rushing the wrapper because i've just realized i think my memory card's about to run out of space um thank you very much for watching and obviously please 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 subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed watching this video um i do a lot of things like general vlogs decorating videos stuff like that shopping hauls things like that so if you just enjoy listening to me waffle on then please subscribe and stick around and say hello in the comments and just let me know what kind of videos you want if you want me to do anything different let me know i will see you in my next video <laughs> Have a nice November.